This is what Syria's threadbare ceasefire looks like in Aleppo. President Assad's regime, backed by Russia, is determined to retake the whole of Syria's largest city. But Washington accuses them of ignoring civilian casualties and treating both Western-backed rebels and Islamist extremists as the enemy. And as long as Assad is there, the opposition is not going to stop fighting him, one way or the other. And so it will continue, and there will be no long-term security and peace for Syria. It's just not going to happen. But rebel forces, too, are being blamed for this attack on a hospital in a government-held area of Aleppo. At least 14 people in the district are reported dead. The White House seems to accept that version, and Russia is talking up prospects for a pause in the fighting. Now we are concluding negotiations between the Russian and United States military to extend the ceasefire already in place to include Aleppo. If you want to see the weaknesses and contradictions in Syria's very patchy ceasefire, which now threaten the entire already fragile Geneva peace talks, then the battle for Aleppo brings all that into brutally sharp focus. Situated in this corner of Syria, just look at the range of forces represented in different colours that are here. The government control areas shown in blue, and with Russian help, they're trying to retake the whole city. Rebel forces shown in cream are still holding on in eastern districts, but huge complication. They're a mix of Western-backed opposition and al-Nusra extremists, who are regarded as legitimate targets by the United States as well as by Russia. Now, Moscow is demanding that the so-called moderates leave to avoid attack, which would obviously make the regime's task of retaking the city a little bit easier. Ever since Russia sent its own troops and its own planes in in September 2015, it has been the dominant external voice inside Syria. Whether or not it actually translates as direct leverage over the Assad regime, we're not sure. But clearly, of the external actors involved in this conflict, Russia is now calling the shots. An early end to the suffering of Syria's people seems very unlikely. The two major powers both say they are committed to some sort of ceasefire and to a political settlement. They may agree on some of the words some of the time, but they still disagree profoundly about what a post-war Syria might look like and who might rule. James Robbins, BBC News.